Uh, you know, ideas are hard to locate, but, you know, I guess they all just come barreling out of the dark, really. But I do like the idea of a, of a rambler, you know, a guy who doesn't have any home. Um, I think that's a pretty natural thing for an American to be, honestly, because we don't belong here in the first place. <laughs> so combine that with uh, a bunch of sort of subconscious imagery and, uh, and dream uh, logic, I think The Rambler is going to be a weird movie. Calvin was uh, very much in his element. As you can see here, he's not at all, um, <laughs> because he's awkward and kind of strained in social situations. But when you put him on the set, it's amazing. It's like, you know, this real, uh, real cool guy comes out. I've been killed a lot in movies, but um, um, this one truly for me, there was a lot of um, incredibly unique aspects to this story that attracted me greatly. And I saw the Oregonian that was on at Sundance maybe two years ago. Um, and just the opening alone, the opening of that um, film was enough for me to be want to to want to be involved with this creative team. Yeah, you know, it's always really exciting to to come to Sundance and have your film bought right away. I mean, that's a huge relief. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, we're over the moon. We're really excited. Yeah, and this is truly an atypical film. So Anchor Bay is showing a lot of balls for getting involved with us at all. Yeah, they really um, are. So we're thrilled that uh, somebody saw what we saw. I would say movies like Hard Times, movies like uh, Five Easy Pieces, movies like uh, Repo Man, movies like El Topo. Repo, oh, you said, yeah, yeah Paris, Texas. Yeah, Paris, thing, Texas, you know, Texas almost anything <laughs> Robbie Mueller shot. Um, yeah, there's just so many film influences in this. But I don't think this owes too much to any sort of cinematic tradition, but we, the influence is there. And I might disagree in a little extent, because I think Calvin maybe, you know, because it's uh, his creation doesn't, maybe witness the way I do that this character borrows really from, or maybe you do, maybe it's intended, from cinematic uh, icon characters, you know, so in a way Gary Cooper could have played this part, oh, or, yeah. or John Boyd in Montgomery Cliff, Montgomery Cliff. You, you know, this role is that sort of stoic cowboy, but then, or some version of a western dude, but then Calvin puts him in like the blender. <laughs> you know, and I trusted so much Calvin's uh, viewpoint. My main and only question I had when we met was, the Oregonian um, accidental? Did you did you or did you deliberately have all that? It's got flash frames and beeping sounds and color <laughs> stuff that I hadn't seen, you know, in quite that combination, technical stuff. And it turns out it was all planned down to the color, to the beep, to the sound. You know, everything was exactly as he perceived yeah. it in the first place. So then going into the Rambler, having seen the script and seen their work, I knew that it wasn't an accident, even though it feels like a bad accident sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>